Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 37 of Darwell20's Let's Play Ocean Block series. Um, so today I think it might be about time to dip our toes into the water of Draconic Evolution. See what I did there with Ocean Block? Dip our toes, water, yeah, pretty cool, right? Uh, so anyway, what do we got going on? So we've got 38 billion RF stored currently in our induction matrix, and I mean, input's not great. What's going on with my input? Um, anybody who has even a little bit of a guess um, is probably guessing that we are low on uranium. Yep, that's 100% the problem. So the good news is we have lots of polonium. Uh, the bad news is that we are low on uranium. Uh, I did set up between episodes a nice little uranium seed system here. So as you can see, if I turn on my growth accelerator here, we're getting lots of uranium. It's still not even close to enough. Not even a little bit close to enough, right? Um, so I was hoping that like eight of these, you know, with a very healthy bit of growth acceleration. I didn't go to tier four or five, but I went up to tier three. I'm gonna, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know how much of a difference I can tell between tier one and tier three. Like tier one seems pretty quick, right? I mean, I'm sure it's faster. With three of those, I'm sure it is, but it's not like bananas level fast. What I'd like to do is maybe in a test world try out, you know, full blown tier four and five. I don't think there's a Insanium accelerator, right? So it's really only Imperium and Supremium. Um, but it, to get 96 tertium growth accelerators, which is what we need, right? Because it's 12 times eight, 96, uh, was a lot of Imperium Essence. So getting 96 of these might not even be possible at the moment, and 96 of these just seems completely unreasonable. Um, so, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I might have died at some point. We should clear no death point, you know. I might have suffocated a little bit in the wall somewhere. Uh, I was even playing around with uh, the growth accelerator from the, the Ritual. It's really slow. I... I remember when I was playing my Let's Play series, the, the Blood Magic Ritual for Growth Acceleration was like bananas level fast. Eh, not so much. Eh, not so much. Uh, I think there's a flower from Batania, which I'm pretty sure is in the pack, that can Growth Accelerate. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be like... I want bananas level growth. So I was thinking to myself, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could do uh, Botany Pots. I could do uh, Draconic Tier Botany Pots, right? Yeah. I know that they're in here somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Uh, but if we looked at th these guys, right? FTB Power Pots is what they're called. Power Pots. Cool. Uh, these guys require Draconic Evolution, though, to get going. Um, Draconium Tier, which I think is the first tier. And then Wyvern is tier two, Draconic is tier three, and Chaotic is tier four. So, what's the word? Uh, in order to get into this, what we're going to need to do is get ourselves some Draconium ingots, right? Clearly, Draconium ingots would be the first step. Uh, and we're going to need eventually the few, this thing, but this guy needs Dracon, right? So that's definitely a thing. Um, I figured the best approach would be like we did with some other things, which is to get four draconium ingots so that we can make draconium seeds and then bada bing, bada boom, draconium for days. I would also maybe like end seeds because that sounds like a cool thing that we might want. Um, we'll see. Uh, the main thing being that uh, in order to get draconium what we're going to need is some draconium dust, which can be sluiced with crushed end stone and diamond mesh. Uh, and that'll get us a 5% chance of getting draconium dust. So we're going to need a hefty amount of that. Now, the good news is that stuff can directly smelt into draconium ingots. So we only need, you know, to get four of those, and then we've got what we want. So let's get started working on that. The other thing I might want to do is the netherite sluice. Right? Uh, there's also the Empowered Sluice, which needs fusion crafting, so I guess we're not doing that. But the Netherite Sluice sounds doable. Uh, so that would be you. If I were to take you away. 
and I was to put you in the smithing table with you, let's see how netherite sluice works out, eh? Hmm? Me? Yeah. Wrong direction. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, cooking, cooking. So are you faster or what? Oh, you need power. Okay. And oh, you get even... Oh, that's cool. So you get some upgrades? Is that what the dealio is? So you've got fortune upgrades. Increases drop chance by 3% per upgrade. Each upgrade increases power cost exponentially. That's cool. Uh, speed upgrade. Increases the speed of the sluice by 5% per upgrade. Do, do, do. And then uh, consumption reduces fluid cost. I don't think we care about fluid cost unless our pump is too slow. But we could always speed upgrade the pump, right? So, like, I don't think we're worried about just yet. Uh, but power will definitely have to be a thing. So we've got a flux plug from the generators network. Well, that's the plug. We don't want the plug. We want the point. I always mix them up. And I always say I always mix them up. And then I continue to mix them up. It's amazing. It truly is. But boom, 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 boom. And now you're sieving? Nice. Wow, you have a big buffer of power, too. You have 70-ish million RF store so that's cool let's figure out how to craft these bad boys so to make fortune upgrades would be that not terrible and uh speed upgrades would be that okay cool now do we know how to make cast iron we do apparently so that's good news um so i guess you can go in my brand new diamond crafter which i just now got uh because we ran out of things so could i like how many of these stack up to i don't even know we're gonna make 10 of them and find out Ten each. Deal? I like that plan. Back in a minute. Well, we got a bunch of compressed stuff for our quest reward. I'm not going to do that right away. Uh, oh, and I got a mana weave robe top. Sweet. But also cool. Uh, so, from the sluice mod. 1.28 to the power of the upgrade. Sounds like a lot. Let's see what happens. So currently we're using not much. Does it tell me anywhere what the upgrade value is? Cost 90 RF. Sweet. So if I were to put 10 of these bad boys in, it's a thousand RF a tick, I guess. Or is it a thousand RF per operation? Couldn't even tell you. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. 12,000. It's <laughs> a lot. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. A little bit of a lot. Uh, I guess the real question now is, are you going to be able to keep up, Mr. Netherite Auto Hammers? Uh, is your output, like, do you have an infinite buffer? See what it says on output? 22,000, that's a lot. Unless that's how much is in here. But, like, what's 64 times 10 would be 640 times 20 would be 1,000-ish. Uh, yeah, and this registers as 22,000. I got to imagine there's like an infinite output buffer here. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I guess we'll see. It looks like we're breaking even though. If you look at the number there, it's we still have a net gain. If you pay attention to that number, that's really small. We currently still have a net gain. Um, I wonder if there's like a delay. It, he seems like this is fast enough, right? It seems fast enough. But I bet there will come a point. Let me make 10 more of these bad boys. I bet there will come a point where we are sluicing faster than our hopper can handle. That would be very likely. And what kind of ridiculous operation? Now I'm assuming because this thing isn't reporting a constant RF drain, he's just like, boom, RF, boom, RF, boom, RF that the probable assumption here is this is 12,000 RF per operation. Oh look, 18 seems to be the limit. Okay, well now we know the limit. So if I make 10 more of these, why are we... Oh, you're overflowing. Oh my goodness, that's a thing. Slow down for a sec, would you? Let me guess, you need an empty hand, and I'm not going to have one of those for very long. Slow down for a second, would you, Chief? Uh, stack upgrade... And speed upgrade. Give me 10 more of those dudes. Oh my goodness.
You're gonna have to keep up in our face, importer. So, Max is 651,000 RF per operation? <laughs> okay, that's a little ridiculous. How fast are we going to burn through this bad boy? I mean, granted, granted, we were producing a million RF a tick before. Okay, granted, that was a thing that was happening. But also, that's a ridiculous number right there. It's a hilarious number right there. 70,000. All right, yeah. Increases drop chance. I mean, I like this. I do. I do. How are we for uranium with all this? Like, is this helping my uranium process at all? Because uranium comes from sand. So, just for giggles, how's my uranium looking? I mean, not terrible. And we're making progress. I really feel like this is helping. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, it looks like it's hoppering fast enough too, doesn't it? Like it doesn't look like there's ever a problem with the hoppering operation. Which is funny to me. Like, you would think there would be, but it doesn't seem to be. How are you guys holding up? Seems to be fine. Doesn't seem to be a problem here. You know, we could always or triple uranium if we wanted to, or get into the quadrupling or quintupling game. It's always an option. It's always an option. 22... You still seem like you're almost pretty... Oh, no, yeah, no, you definitely have a net loss. Definitely a net loss at this rate. Um, fortune upgrades definitely... Well, they seem like they're about the same. 1.28 to the power of the upgrade. Yeah, so it is identical. So fortune and speed are both the same cost increase. Kind of cool, though. Let's go check on, our, check on our power plant over here. Little blips of power turning on. Not bad. Not bad. We probably don't want to leave this on at this speed all the time, though. So what I'll probably do... I don't know that we need this speed all the time, but the the fortune upgrade is very useful, right? Increases drop chance by P3. Oh, that's pretty significant. So that gives you, like, a lot more stuff to work with, right? You're getting some good things. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, which is not uncommon. Let's get some glowstone. And let's put it in here. And let's tell you to make some end stone, which needs no temperature. And that would be, yes. Glowstone dust plus bucket of lava go. Sweet. Actually, that ain't bad. I don't know if we even need more than that. So what if I redstone signaled you for a minute? This should work, unless you only insert into the side, which is also possible. Is that what's happening here? Is you're doing this? What are you powering again? I don't even know what you power. I don't even know what you power. What do you... Oh, you power the water pump. Oh! Okay. You know what we could do? Probably don't need either of these anymore. What we could do is move this dude to power the water pump and then just put an ultimate 
Well, no, the whole point of doing that. Yes. So let's. No, 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 that works. Right, so now you've got power once more. Oh, but your lever is going to mess with you, aren't you? <laughs> so let's rotate this dude. Be facing that way for power. And we'll have a... We'll put the universal cable on this side, on the bottom. And now you're good. And now you're good. Really, bro? Really, though? Am I, like, not understanding how you work? Oh, you need to be crushed on stone anyway. Well, yeah, that's part of the problem. But this will stay as, like, a thing. Let's keep you running for a minute while I crush her up the end stone. I assume you can just go into the Elite Crushing Factory and have a good day. Thank you. Sweet. Now, if I am saying to myself, this is taking a while, I can just do that. And that. So this will be for manual processing in the event that I have to do that, right? Like, do do do. Sweet. And then once you're done, I'll remove the speed upgrades, turn off the lever, and let the sand go back to processing. Sound like a plan? I don't know why this ultimate energy cube is in my inventory, but it's going away now. It's from many episodes back. I also got a gargantuan flux storage, which is 128 million RF, that I think I got as a quest reward a while ago. It's also been sitting in my inventory for a while. Along with this isotropic centrifuge, which I should probably deal with at some point. I don't know. None of these things super matter. Alright, you are on your way out, sir. Which means you can stop being speedy, which means you can go back to that, and everybody's a winner. Cool. And I'm just going to put the speed upgrades away for now. But I really do like... The fortune upgrade, because it just, you know, significantly increases the resources we get, at least. So how do we do with draconium? Wow, we got a lot of draconium dust. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is a lot of draconium dust. Uh, you can, therefore, be processed in the energized smelter. I don't think there's anything else we can really do to make you or double or triple or anything like that. So energized smelter, elite smelting factory, boom. Draconium for days. So give me four Supremium Essence, which should be a pretty quick craft, but not too quick. Prosperity Seed Base, two, three, four, boom. And let's get these added to the farm. Now, one thing I did do between episodes, when I set up the dedicated Uranium farm, I removed Uranium from the spot it was in. So I currently have a spot that's available for, for Draconium to go into. Uh, and that would be this one, I believe. Cool. So yeah, it was just putting random seeds in that position because I didn't block it with whatever. But in a moment, There you go, buddy. Uh, I guess, I guess it was pink and blackish. That would be these two spots. Yes, that'll do draconium essence. Cool. So let's go add you. See what a mess I made. What a mess indeed. Uh, which side was the draw on? There you are. Sweet. So you're gonna get draconium seeds added to the whitelist. You're gonna get draconium seeds added. You should go in. You should get planted. And that should be cool. Okay. Whoever commented on my video that you can put the jetpack in a curio slot, you're awesome. All right. 
Because that was such a win. So, hey, draconium seeds growing. Nice. Do we want to put um, supremium essences on these spots? I think we could do that, right? I don't see why not. Could be cool. Now, can I in-place upgrade? Ooh, I can. Do I get the Inferium back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, well, that one I did. So that's funny. I guess there's a chance that you get it back? All right, so you should get your Draconium Seed back. And plant it. And then Draconium Essence, we're going to have to deal with um so what i'm gonna do all right draconium did replant so that's good what i should do is probably because i have a dedicated planter over there what i'm gonna do is put my key in my offhand you're gonna be my new uranium drawer Okay, uh, with an emerald upgrade on you, which is a 1024 stack holder. Okay, and then you gotcha, gotcha. I don't know how silver chunks wound up getting in there, but that's cool. And then draconium essence goes in that spot now. Cool, and we've got four of them already. Beautiful. And then Uranium Essence, which is probably sitting here waiting for me to deal with it, can go in this slot now, and that'll... Awesome, right? So Draconium, good. Let's just tick accelerate this a little bit, or growth accelerate it, to the point where uh, we've got a second Draconium Seed, and that would be cool. Hey, good news, we have one, two Draconium Seeds, and do we have a buffer? We do have a buffer. Nice, we have three Draconium Seeds now. So that's awesome. All right, so Draconium Essence is only used to make Draconiums. We might as well teach you that. Uh, put away the Hopper dudes for now. Uh, we probably want to teach you how to make the Draconium Core. That's a big deal. Uh, how are we for gold? Right, we're fine on gold. Uh, so we got that, 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 and that. Um, sweet, so that's... Ready to go. That was easy. Um, so I guess the next stage would be the fusion crafting system. Would that be the next major task? Now, I don't know if this is a quest or not, but we're going to find out. Oh, Draconic Evolution... Read the description. Okay, so you want to use tools. Well, you'll need to know this first. Tools and armor work like modules now. Without any modules, they don't do anything other than be expensive. A good start is to have at least two energy modules. All right, I am checking the box, and I have read the description, and knowledge is power, and okay then. Can you please to be letting me check the box? Uh, I wonder if this is a bug. Because... I read the description. I read the description. Read the desk. Yeah, I did. Also, does Tome something something is Draconic have a book? Thermal Batania, Extended Crafting. I don't see a Draconic thingy, but maybe it's just not in the Tome because it used to be a tablet. Didn't Draconic have a tablet? Yeah, this guy, Information Tablet. He does not look like he's implemented yet, because he doesn't have a recipe. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so I read the description, Draconic Evolution Quest. I wonder if there's like a command I can use to force complete this dude. Because I wanna I wanna do the the whole thing, right? Uh and the only way I'm gonna unlock this whole dude is by hitting this checkbox, which doesn't seem to be working right now. Is there another checkbox that needs to be checked? I just want to see if, like, in general, checkbox quests are broken, or what the dealio is. Uh, 
I don't see any more checkbox quests. All right, let me figure out how FTB quests. Editing mode? Generate chapter with all items in game? No. Locked? Editing mode? True. All right, I'm going to come back in a minute once I figure out, you know, things. All right, now in fairness, I think I missed something here. But I think there's a dependency on draconium dust, which needs an end painting. Oh, well, there's the problem. It's a it's a quest dependency problem. Yeah, that's why I couldn't check the box. I thought this was the start of the chapter and the bug was that you couldn't check the box, but I think that might not be the case. So I turned off editing mode. Let's get ourselves an end painting. I don't know why I need an end painting, but we need an end painting uh, with low temperature, which would be magma. Boop. And we wanted a couple eyes of ender. Four ender pearls. And a painting. So I don't actually need to go to the end, FYI, because I managed to do all this stuff without. End painting, hello. So this was Tyrion. Oh boy. Jetpacky fast. Hello, and dimensional painting. No thanks, running away from you. Not sure that, I mean, in fairness, I'm pretty okay. But also, maybe not, so we'll see. But yes, and then, now that we completed that quest in exploration, and got ourselves some Aeternium Leggings reward, I should now be able to do Draconium Dust, which I think I can craft in the Crusher. Hooray! And then we can smelt it right back. Hooray! 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 Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. We did all the things. We did it all. Module core. Modularity, baby. And then basic infusion. Yeah, that's what we're going to need next is these guys, right? So I'm going to remove all these to-dos, because I actually... Did I make the fusion crafting core? I was going to, but then I wanted to have this in my inventory before I did. Sweet. Uh, and then... Should I just teach you how to make these? I don't see why not. Okay. So how many of these basic infusion injectors do you think I'm going to need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve-ish would probably be the, the most. I think usually at the start you need less than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Uh, things get ridiculous quick. Uh, but I think for like the first tier, can I use you and see what... No, that only shows me that upgrading process, uh, which is eight, by the way. So let's go with like... 12? You want to start with 12? Yeah, let's start with 12. We're missing iron blocks. Not a big deal. You should know how to make iron blocks, so you're going to learn. Twelve seems like a good start. Yeah. I like that. Sweet. Quest complete. Alright. Not too shabby. Imperium Furnace? That's cool. Can I upgrade? I can upgrade you to the Supremium. <laughs> Those things are pretty bananas, if I remember. I mean, that's cool. Terra Steel Leggings, that's a pretty nice bit of armor. That is a really pretty nice bit of armor. Nether Star Mycelial Generator. Yeah, that's a that's also a really good power gen. I got some nice quest rewards from that. Yay, randomization. Cool. So let's get this set up quickly over here and then we'll probably come back next episode to actually 
do stuff with it? That's not like a plan-ish. Now, if I remember correctly, and I'm assuming that everything still works the same way it did before. And I might be wrong to assume that. But I think that's the gist, right? Oh my goodness, look at you. You have a new UI. Oh, look at that. You get a light and a dark theme. That is awesome. That is cool. All right, stack mode versus single item mode. I think we usually want these guys in single item mode. Because remember, that tells you whether you can have a single item in the, like this, is single item mode. And in stack mode, you can put a whole stack in there at once. So single item mode is really nice, especially if you're gonna automate it, because it won't let you put multiple of the same item in the same slot. Uh, which means that if you, for example, if we had this recipe, right? You need four Awakened Draconium, right? So it wouldn't put all four Awakened Draconium in a single crafter. It would put one in each crafter and you'd have four crafters with one Draconium in each. So you want them in single mode if you're going to automate them. Though stack mode is useful because like when we want to make this, we want to make 12 at a time. So like I'd put 12 of these in, I'd put 12 of these in, I'd put 12 of these, and then like, you know, craft. But probably something we're gonna have to play with next episode uh because it's wrapping up point do i have enough uh flux points to get four of these bad boys i do hooray so here's what i'm thinking right and we probably want some more universal cable but we're gonna wrap up the episode here uh we'll come back next time might be exploring the end soon. I don't know why the end was a prerequisite quest to doing this, because I clearly did all this without going to the end. I'm also curious what the end looks like. Because, like, ocean block, right? Like, ocean, lava, and the nether, what's in the end? It would be really cool if it was liquid ender, but I doubt it. I doubt it highly. Uh, but what we're going to do is a little something like a dis with a little bit of you... And you guys have a large buffer, I believe. If I, or, no, yeah, okay. They don't have a huge buffer until you start crafting. That's how they always worked in the past. So, and then we can also, like, place on top of these. So when we get to the point where we need, like, 20 or maybe even 24 of these, we'll just put, you know, some on top or something. Cool. All right, double 20 signing off because it's really time to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the deal. Take it easy.